I'm the Good Geezer. Welcome to my office. I'm going to show it to you on this segment. If this is your first time checking out the Gig Geezer, if you're a returning visitor of the Gig Geezer, thanks for coming by. And if you would not mind, hit that subscribe button, give my content a thumbs up, share my content among others, and I definitely welcome your comments in the section below. So what I'm going to do is something that I've not done before, and that's really show my workspace, which is this Ford Transit 250 van. Um, the secondary workspace would be my F-150 um, that's parked in the Geezer driveway. But so what I'm going to do is uh, actually share with you some of the things that I think that may be um, may be some must haves when you're considering doing uh, delivery and transport work. Now, I've got some things arranged out here so uh, for better demonstration purposes. But um, if I were to go down the list, um, it's in no specific order. Co you consider this as a guide and not gospel. But also understand, too, that space is precious with a van um, because a van is a step above your F1, your SUVs. But also it is a step below or a significant step below a box truck. And so um, that said, um, we're going to get into many of the things that I have here that I have come to, I guess you could say, accumulated over the past year, or I've had pre prior to um, the ownership and operation of this van, but have become rather practical for me. Now, starting out, these small items here are what you call corner protectors. Corner protectors are used to, um, whenever you've seen, if you've ever seen palletized shipments, um, these things are at the corner of, say, a box but additionally, they're used to protect your ratchet straps from fraying because of the edges. Speaking of ratchet straps, and this is going to come in in a combination of things here now. You see two different sizes and strengths of ratchet straps. The blue ratchet straps are what I use pretty much for just about all of my pallet. I've used so far for all my palletized opportunities. And they secure the cargo that I've transported over the past year. Um, this is used in conjunction with this e-track system and that's these rails, these, these black eight foot rails. And then I've got one foot railing up near the front. And this is all on a total of 10 foot of plywood. There are, there are, I've, what I bought were three planks of plywood and then, can, and then put in the eight foot plank as it is. And then I fashioned together two 24, 24 inch width um, boards to, to give me a 10 foot. Um, that is in that is to supplement this here, this this rubberizer, this this matting here that came with the van. But when you use pallets, pallets get stuck on this and, and, and drags this forward and it makes a mess of things. Now, a lot of vans do come without this. In fact, if you see under here, well, you see beneath that, this is just metal. And so uh, people talk of wanting to get it, getting um, getting wood to put on their van. Um, a lot of people just don't do it. But in an early segment of the Gig Geezer, I showed exactly how I constructed every constructed or put in my E-Track system. Now, the main thing for me where these had, I had to screw, I had to um, drill, I drilled them into this um, board. And then also I used, um, again, two, two um, planks of wood at each juncture. So I, again, I bought three, three four by eight planks of wood. I used one to cut up the other two foot and then two here and what i did was i drilled a screw just into this to kind of keep it in place and then drilled another drilled another screw into the top to the bottom and that's how it's it and i've not had any issue with it over all these months 
and over all these miles and all these opportunities that I've put in this van. Now, that said, I've got two different types of uh, of uh, E-Track um, uh, e holders here. This is the um, O-ring one, and that's basically for this heavy-duty stuff that I've yet to use. Basically, I use the heavy-duty stuff to actually pull um, pallets that are that have been put further up into the van, and that's been on just a few a handful of occasions. I've, I've most of the times I've been able to use just these blue um, ratchet straps to secure um, cargo into this van. Now, I also have in here cup holders, and I've shared that in early, early, early gig geezer segments that's for delivery purposes as well as with the bags here that are used for um, when i have uh catering order opportunities large order opportunities or instacart opportunities now going back here to these brackets these brackets are used to secure pallets in place or in some cases when i have instacart orders or catering orders and i'm trying to keep stuff from sliding around in the van these brackets fit in just into the e-track system as such and they fit into the brackets as such and then i have two by four that fits into here as such and that's how i secure brackets some people have asked me why don't you have a partition well i don't need a partition if i got these brackets and i got each and i got e uh ratchet straps um these brackets serve just as good as a partition keeping a pallet from moving forward and probably possibly bopping me in the head um that's just been my experience so far i've got various sizes or lengths of bungee cords the bungee cords only use really for putting doors or doors or sheetrock right along this side and that keeps them in place from plop plopping over um, what are some of the other things that I have in here as must haves for me over, ex over my time of experience? Bungie required us to show that we had at least two furniture blankets. And that's what I have in here. And this here, I just keep various fluids. I'm not a hoarder, but I keep various things in here. This bag here keeps my other, uh, ratchet straps fire extinguisher first aid kit the safety helmet was required of me with some loads that i did this past summer in which when i showed up on location i had to wear a safety vest and i had to have on a helmet in order for me to even get on the property so whenever they say you have to have ppws uh the the uh the uh the person the ppes ppws paperwork ppes purse uh the the personal protective equipment that's a part of it the shrink wrap is something that I I have with me in case I am dealing with some furniture um, moving opportunities, but also as a backup to poor workmanship of places when they put when they put on their um, shrink wrap of the of the pallets. I've not had to use it on pallets, but I have had to use it for um, uh, delivery of furniture opportunities in the past. A dolly is something that I believe is a must have. A four in one dolly or two in one hand truck dolly, four in one, two in one, something that in which you can move the handles, you uh, use the hand, change the handle positioning to where it goes from a hand hand truck to a cart. Very useful for catering opportunities and for Instacart opportunities. And um, it looks good when you come in there with something like this. The wheels are quiet; it's not rattling all over the place. I started out one with a that was a thirty six by twenty four and uh, graduated up to this one i've spoken of these in the past and re i've spoken of these in a recent segment of the gig geezer where i bought a second hydraulic jack the hydraulic jacks are a time saver when you have to put your, put your um, vehicle up so that you can change tires or get up under there to work on your vehicle um they're heavy but they're a time saver um, I've got, I had bought a second one when I showed in this segment of the gig geezer where I had, to, where I bought two new tires recently. They're, 
I, I can't I just can't say enough how how it's been beneficial so far to have two of them. I've used one for the longest. This red one I bought back in 2020 when I got my Pathfinder and um, I've used it ever since. Um, this one, again, the gray one I bought a few weeks ago. And again, it's been a time saver. What are some other must haves? Tools. Now, not everybody is mechanically inclined, but one thing that I've shown in a past gig geezer segment from uh, 2022 is a tire repair kit, tire plug kit. Invaluable, invaluable. Tire plug kit, save you time and money if that's something you're able to do. This is actually what you detest, um, what you detect studs in a wall. But I've got various tools with me in this bag. This bag, by the way, is actually a bag that you carry your, is used for bowling, where you put your shoes in this and then you put your, your tape and other um, items in here. But I've got two more of these bags in the geezer compound. And so those are, those actually got bowling shoes in those. But moving on, tools are, tools, you having, you, you being able to um, address certain things like oil changes and certain repairs is in a, in a time saver and money saver if you have them. That's where these, um, that's where this other postal tray comes in because there's some tools off in there. Now, just like that, I move the bags, I move the bungee cord, I move the uh, ratchet straps. And all of a sudden I've got, it looks like I've got a good bit of space in the, in the van to handle a couple of pallets and whatever else I need to um, transport in most situations. I'm back in the office chair now. Um, one thing about um, vans, they're one step above an SUV and a pickup truck, but they're a couple steps below box trucks in terms of space. But a sprinter slash cargo van is a versatile vehicle. It's a versatile vehicle. And it, and um, as you can tell, there's a lot of things you can do with it. I've shared in multiple segments now how a sprinter slash cargo van can be used for many things, many other, oper many other operatives. And for me, doing the delivery and transport, these are some of the things that I have accumulated over time prior to even ownership of and operation of a sprinter slash cargo van. But there are things that I have I have purchased over the past year that I have used at least once. And that is the thing. All it takes is one situation for you to say, hey, I need to get this. I need to get that. A couple other things that I carry with me, obviously gloves, but I'm guilty of not always using gloves. Um, I've had I've had more than my share of splinters to go into my fingers. In fact, I had one to go in so far going um, it, it went in such that I had to push it out like a zit. <laughs> I mean, that thing popped out like a zit. But then uh, gloves, a, a knife that's used sometimes to cut through the shrink wrap. Um, that's also useful. Um, I'm going to go over these things again as I in, uh, close out this seg segment of the gig geezer. Um, I mentioned again about space and, and how it's at a premium, how you, you want to maximize the space that you use. Um, you and um, the purposes of me showing what I'm showing is based off of my um, my doing first local, then regional, and then some over the road work. If I did primarily over the road, I'd be sharing other things like maybe a space heater and some type of configuration to sleep and all that. But I've never, I've, ne I've never slept. I've never really slept in the van. I've kind of stretched out in the van a couple of times, but I've never slept in the van overnight. I've the few opportunities that I've gone, um, that I've gone truly over the road where I've been out for a couple of days. I paid for a hotel. So again, what I've, sh what I've shared with you, what I've showed in my office space, is really a guide and not gospel of the things that you should um equip your van with uh for whatever for whatever your personal operation or operative is um a couple of items that i don't have but i'm also going to mention that i know of drivers having in their van is a ramp uh cj showed him showed having a, a ramp for his van 
and Furniture Dolly, a couple of guys, St. Mike 504, CJ, and a guy I know here in the Columbia, a couple of guys I know here in the Columbia, South Carolina metropolitan area, they have Furniture Dollies. I've yet to get one. I should get one, but I've yet to do it. Now, again, a, a wrap up of some of the things that I've shared, at least that I use as a part of um, that have helped, that, as a wrap up of some of the things that I have used or I keep in my van for the purpose of delivery and transport, a, a, a multi-purpose dolly, one that is a, used as a hand truck and as a cart, a hydraulic jack for the purpose of putting the man up so that I can change tires and get up under the hood for whatever I need to do. Obviously, you need a spare tire, um, tire plug kit, um, various tools, a broom that I didn't show, but I can, you know, obviously you want to try to keep your, your space clean, bungee cords of various lengths, and again, some may disagree on this though, but um, but I use them basically just to keep doors, sheetrock, and TV sets in place. That's it. Knife, gloves, fire extinguisher. I didn't show it though, but I have emergency triangles, um, moving blankets, shrink wrap. So that's all I have to share in this segment of Gig Geezer. Thanks for stopping by my office. If you like the content that's been provided in this segment of Gig Geezer and any other segment of Gig Geezer, hit that subscribe button, give my content a thumbs up, share my content among others, and I definitely welcome your comments in the section below. I'm Inwood Lane, and as always, may your grind and may your hustle continue.